Hey guys, Alex here, co-founder of 3D Pets. Today we're gonna to be going over how to make some basic modifications to your pet's prosthetic using some simple tools and the provided instructions. Every device includes a packet. It includes our instruction sheet, our adjustment kit guide, our spare wedges, our Allen key, and a little 3D pet swag. This is our shock absorbing foot, our pylon or leg, our pylon adapter, our pyramid mount, and our harness. This is so you know what we're talking about when we're adjusting. So we're gonna use the Allen key to adjust the leg length here. You're gonna locate the one screw that's on the side of the mount and you're gonna loosen it by one full turn. This will allow us to slide the leg in or out or remove it completely. Sometimes this is enough adjustment depending on what your pup needs. If the leg needs to be a little bit shorter, we may have you take it out, cut it with a hacksaw since it's aluminum, and then put it back in and tighten it up like we are here. We're gonna grab this Allen key again to make a pitch adjustment. For Sally's device, we need to move the leg forward. You're gonna start by loosening all four of the Allen screws at the top of the adapter by one full turn. You can see by doing that, that we essentially loosen the adapter to the pyramid mount, allowing us to move the leg in any direction. We only get about a degree or two of movement forward, back, left to right by doing this, but sometimes that's enough for our fine tune adjustment. For Sally, we're gonna need to adjust this leg forward. So we're gonna start by tightening the forwardmost screw until we get towards a point we like and loosen the backmost screw which in turn allows us to move the leg forward a little bit more. You're gonna use this combination until we get the correct angle. If 3D Pets team recommends that you need to pitch the leg as most forward as possible, start doing so using this method. If it needs to go even more forward, we'll then show you how to use the wedges. Make sure that you tighten up all of these screws very snug once you're done making adjustments. Now for those that need a more severe adjustment, both forward or back, left to right, we're gonna attach the wedge. Now we include a small sized wedge and we include a large sized wedge and our team will advise you on which to use, if not both. So you're gonna start by loosening the four Allen screws at the top of the mount here so that the entire mount or adapter comes off of the pyramid, just like that. Set that aside. You're then gonna go and grab a Phillips head screwdriver. We do not include this, but this is a pretty common household tool. Start by unscrewing the four Phillips head screws at the base of this pyramid mount. Do not apply too much forward pressure on the screwdriver because that can push the set nuts inside this mount or the harness out. So be gentle and let the screw push the screwdriver back. We do include longer screws depending on which way you attach the wedges and you may need to use those depending on if the screw will reach the nut on the inside of the harness. Go ahead and take all four of those screws out, pull that pyramid mount off, and then add the wedge in the direction that we have advised. This would pitch the leg forward, this would pitch it outwards away from her good leg, which is what we're going to accomplish here. Once you have that, put your pyramid mount on top of the wedge and then grab those screws.
Insert a screw into each corner. Sometimes the thicker end of the wedge may need the longer screws that we provide, but what's most important is making sure the screws do not protrude through the foam on the interior and would create abrasion with your pet. If they're too long, you may need to trim the screws or use some of the shorter ones that were initially provided. Start by running the two screws in. You want to make sure that you're putting them in evenly. Don't start with just one screw and tighten that down. Do at least two to start. You're going to repeat that process for the remaining two screws. Remember to be gentle when inserting the screw for the first time as to not push the interior nut out of its place. Once you have them all set, tighten them down nice and snug. You'll grab your leg that we put to the side, make sure you're putting it back on in the correct orientation. And this is another point where you can make some of those fine tune adjustments if needed. But go ahead and grab that provided Allen key. Tighten up these screws, make sure they are nice and tight. And then I'll use this end of the Allen key so I have a little bit more torque to tighten them down. You really want to crank down on these. And that is how you add a wedge as well as make a fine tune adjustment with the adapter.